Hey folks, it's Dave here, and it's a, well, it's a kind of a yucky, rainy, cold April 30th here in Massachusetts, and it's supposed to be spring at some point, and we're still in the 40s today. It's uh, it's pretty uncanny, the weather that we have, so I just got to turn off my monitor here, okay? And so I'm just kicking around today, and I figured I'd show you how to make your own uh, par 3 course. Now, not completely custom. What you're going to do is you're going to take holes from the courses that you have and make a super course if you will okay so I was doing this last night and I had some fun I created a par 3 course and a par 5 course and then I played them so let me go and show you how you can do that okay and again we're not creating a course we're not you know adding pins and holes and traps we're just creating a super course from the courses that you have so let me get on here so you're gonna go up to the top here to courses okay and then you're going to get on here to create edit courses okay and now you're going to go to on the right hand side and you're going to create a new course so i'm going to call this dave par threes okay and then you have a course template and this really doesn't come into play all that much uh, that I can figure out because I'm replacing all the holes so I think you just need to have some kind of a base so so let, let's go here to the summer limb club uh, just just to pick one okay so that's my course tempo so we're gonna create this course okay so what's gonna happen now is we're gonna start replacing the holes so we're gonna create a path three course okay so what I did last night is I created a path three course from the top of my list so I'm gonna create a path three course from the bottom of my list I'm gonna show you what I mean by that so this is hole one now the default is is this par four right up here 415 yards in a black tee so we want to make this a par three so you get on to the bottom and you say substitute this hole okay so I'm going to scroll these are all the courses that I have so I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom and some of these are action PC community courses as well so they're gonna be all sprinkled in between the official courses and the community courses okay so I'm going to the winged foot golf club West and I'm going to find the first par 3 that they have that's how I've been doing this. so hole one hole two is par 4 hole 3 is par 3 so I'm going to use this as hole one Replace this hole, yes. Okay, so now hole one is a par three from the Winged Foot Golf Club West. Click over here to hole number two. So I'm going to replace this. I'm going to go to my next course again because I'm mixing and matching from all my courses. So the Winged Foot Golf Club East. So let's go to here. So I'm going to go to hole four. And again, I'm just kind of picking holes and seeing if I can find a par three. There's no particular order here. Here's a par three right here. So this will be hole number two. Replace this hole. Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to hole number three. And again, you can go all over the place. It's f but I like just to go up in order so I don't go to the same course twice. So I'm just going in reverse order. So White Marsh Valley. Let's go to hole seven. No. Hole eight. No. Hole nine. Yep. Okay. Hole nine is a par three. Bam, here we go. There's my hole number three. I'll go to hole number four. Okay, now even if it's a par three, I'm still going to replace it because I'm kind of mixing and matching with some of my, my, my courses I have here. So let's go to the Belfry. I'm just going to go find a par three here. The next par three that comes up is this one right here, the 12th hole at the Belfry. Use this for hole number four. Yep, and I'm just going to continue on with this. Go, just going up the list of my courses and just going down the holes and, and finding par threes and I did this with par fives as well and I created a par five course and so I'll go up to the next one here and you can do whatever you want you can start off like the, the front nine all par fives and then the uh the, the back nine all par threes or you know, whatever you like to do or if you have certain holes you like to play that's what you can do so I'm just I'm just finding par threes and throwing them on here in no particular way and this is just how I did it last night and I had some fun with it so okay we'll use this as hole seven yep that looks pretty good to me so we'll go to hole eight and we're gonna bump it up to San Martin course and we'll start working our way back down so we'll use this 
And again, you know, if you wanted to, you could go in and actually write down your favorite holes and really come up with a, a course of all your favorite um, favorite holes and favorite clubs. For me, I'm I'm just kind of showing how I mix and match, and it's just, you know, it'd be nice if I could just, like, grab all the par threes and make a course, but you got to kind of do this manually. So I'm just manually creating a course, so now I'm halfway there, hole number 10, and I'm going up my list, and so now I'm on Pecan Valley. And I'm looking for par threes, and I'm just kind of grabbing a par three and throwing them there. So now I'm going to go up to, I'm going to skip this because this is the one that I bought officially and has some of the classic par three holes on there. So I'm going to skip that and go to Orlando and see if I can find a par three here as I work my way back down on Orlando. And as you get to memorize the courses, you might be able to find them a little quicker than, than I do. Boy, I'm not finding any par threes here. There we go. So there's a par three. Go to hole 12 now. We're going to go up to Old Works. And almost done here. There's a hole number 12. And we're coming down the home stretch here. As we go up to Oakville Abbey. I like the Oakville Abbey. I don't know why. Oh, they already had a par 3 selected, didn't it? So we'll go hole number 4. Oakville Abbey will be a par 3 right here. Yes, it will. Hole 14. North View. Let's see if we can find a par 3 on the North View. A lot of par fours here. I think I just skipped the hole. Hole nine. There we go. Hole number nine is now hole number 14. Hole 15 as we go up to the New Orleans. Go back to hole one. Actually, no, let's go to the end here. Let's see if there's a good 17. Usually, usually there's a good par three at 17. That's what you could actually do too. You could find you know, the last par three in all your courses, which is usually 16 or 17 is the last par three. And you could create like a, 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 you know, a super course of par threes that are the last par three in every course as well. So that could be a, another project you could do. So only a couple more holes to go. And I'm going to go up here to New England Valley. And let's see, is it 16? Yeah, so 16 here. So that's what I, I probably could have done. I really could have made some really challenging par three holes by selecting the end of the course rather than the beginning of the course and there's another whole 16 par 3 so I am gonna finish out with some difficult par 3's here and let's go to the lighthouse link so this last one here is 17 a par 3 yes it is so we finished out with some difficult par 3's so now I have my 18 holes and if I go back here if you look up right over here it's gonna say par 3 par 3 par 3 par 3 and go all the way down and everything here should be a par 3 course. Again, I didn't edit any courses or anything. All I did is just create a, a super course, if you will, or an all-star course full of par 3s from all the different courses that I have. And you can even go in here if you want to play around with some of the, the weather things and the whole bit. I didn't. Uh, the course location is set for Nevada, so that that's fine with me. So wind averages, you can play around with this. Average rainy days, blah blah blah. Course attributes, if you wanted to, you could really get into here. Uh, I'm not. I just want to create and play some holes. So now finish editing, and so my course is now created. And I'll just play a couple of holes to show you. So we'll go casual round. Uh, that's fine. Graham McDowell. We're going to just hit continue, and now we're going to go to my courses, and it's the Dave Par 3s. This I created last night was Dave Par 3. This is Dave Par 3s, and this should be all the Par 3s that I just created. Yep, Par 3 right here. So we're going to see if we can just smack this one onto the green with a 3 iron. And that's a nice shot right there as we roll it up close. So we're going to continue on uphill. That missed the bird. But you kind of get the idea. So there's my first one here. Now if I go to the second hole, again, par 3. So I basically just created a course full of par 3s. And I also created a course full of par fives. And again, you can create a course with all the first holes or all the 18th holes if you wanted to. But it just goes to show you a little bit how you can really kind of get creative in here in Action PC Golf and create your own. Oh, 
we'll almost put it in own golf course there so that's just a simple little course creation nothing too fancy but it just goes to show you that if you have a bunch of courses you can take your favorite holes or create a par three or a par five course or whatever you like to do and uh, just have some fun customizing this this game so anyway so this is dave here hope you like this little video on uh, creating a super course or a fun course out of the courses that you have i will talk to you later thanks for tuning in bye bye